let's talk about health and business. The reason why I want to talk about this is because before I stepped up in my business, a few things happened to me. First of all, I hit a big brick wall and I came tumbling down. I couldn't even lift my head up off the pillow because I had pure exhaustion. Exhaustion, health problems, headaches, backaches, diseases, sicknesses are all stopping us from showing up in our business. I've got really close friends that have suffered huge diseases and massive things that most people would just be like, oh my gosh, and they have turned around and said it was the best thing that ever happened to me because I woke up and I saw what was real. A lot of the time we are creating this dis-ease in our bodies because we are not wanting to show up to our true potential. And what I mean by that is our bodies will give us signs, right? And when we are fighting against showing up and fulfilling our purposes, when we fight against that, our body gives us signs and signals. We can get headaches, we can get backaches, we can get diseases, and what that does is it stops us in our tracks. So this is a perfect indication for us to stop, reassess, and ask a few questions. What is it I am truly desiring and choosing, and what can I change to have more ease with my body? You know, before I started showing up in business and showing up to what I truly desire, when I was in pure exhaustion, I couldn't look after my children, I couldn't make money. When I did work, I put every ounce of energy into that and there was nothing left. There was no energy going through my body. There was no source energy. I was always in depletion. And the reason why I'm sharing that with you as well is because it is what I called a secondary gain. My illness was stopping me from showing up. And I went to the doctor and I begged for pills. I really wanted to have something like, was it postnatal depression? Was it, de was it just depression? Was I sick? You know, and this is the things that I really, really wanted to get a name for. But the truth was, was I sick? Yes, I was. Did I create it myself? Yes, most probably. When I started listening to my body and going, what is it that I truly, truly desire and, and want for my life, it blew me away and it took me a while to really come to and go, whoa, that is really intense. So am I going to choose it? I got to the point where I was in so much pain that I had to choose it. I had to make a change and the secondary gain was no longer there. So I got ambitious. I chose to help other people like me who couldn't get their head off the pillow, that had a purpose, that was having pain with their bodies because of what they were choosing or what they weren't choosing. Health is one of those things that we can complain about, we can get on the phone and we can say to our friends and our family, I'm struggling, I'm exhausted, I'm in pain. And people just don't want to hear that. What they want to hear is, you know, I'm doing great, I'm showing up, do you want to come with me, I can show you how. And that is a choice and that is what you can have. So look at your body and start having a relationship with your body. Start listening to it. If you've got a backache, what is going on? If you've got a headache, what is going on? You know, there's different things in your body and you can do your own research with this, but if your knees are sore, you know, sometimes we're afraid of moving forward. If you've got a headache, it could be stress and maybe you just need to de-stress and relax. If it's your shoulders, maybe there's just too much on your shoulders and you've got to drop a sack of spuds off there. If it's your back, it's the, you know, the straw that breaks the camel's back. Do you have too much going on? What is happening with you and your body? And really say thank you to your body for your illnesses, for what is coming up with you now. Because if you don't do it now and if you ignore it, then it will come up bigger later on down the track. So just double check with yourself. Is your health your secondary gain? Is it holding you back? If not, that's awesome, but if so, just start asking some questions and realize that your health cannot hold you back. You can work in with your health to really 
create more for your business, for your family, and for yourself just by simply listening. Every morning I wake up and I touch my body all over and I go, thank you, body. Thank you for showing up. You know, what can I do with you today to create more ease? I ask my body what food it wants to eat. I ask it what type of exercise it wants to do. And sometimes I run. Sometimes I don't do anything. Sometimes I sleep. Sometimes I just get into it. But I always work in with my body like it's another entity because the truth is it is. There's my body and there's also my spirit. So together we work together and I just think bodies are amazing. They move without even kind of like thinking. So it's the same with your being. You know, what are you choosing and what kind of ease can you have with your body? 